Hey folks, Robbie Payne with Chrome Unboxed, and today we're going to be taking a look at Google's new initiative behind purpose-built devices. And the idea here is really simple. Management devices and management systems have been around since Chrome OS, pretty much, and it's the reason why they're doing so well in schools. But as Chrome OS expands into different markets, like consumer markets and the enterprise, Google's really focusing some attention on what it takes to set up managed, remotely managed devices in kiosk mode. And so kiosk mode just means the device is doing one thing and one thing only and it's locked down to that thing. So imagine point of sale systems or interactive maps at, at a park or something like that. Google wants to make this really simple for small business owners that don't want to get into all the G Suite and enterprise options that just need devices doing one thing that they can manage remotely. And they're spending some time to get this right. And so we wanted to take a look at it in case this could be a good fit for you or someone you know, small business. So let's talk about what's new. Kiosk mode has been around for a little while and managed devices, as we talked about a minute ago, aren't really new either. It's really the ease of setup that Google's worked on as of late. We've taken this new setup for a spin from start to finish and can confirm the overall ease of use in setting up Chrome OS devices as managed kiosks. Additionally, the introduction of Android into all of this has given even more functionality to what Google is calling purpose-built devices. With Android apps, for instance, you can have a Chrome OS device set to only run Square Register or your choice of other point-of-sale system at your counter with minimal hassle and maximum control. Google has worked closely with AOpen on two devices that are kind of the torch bearers for this whole new effort. The AOpen Chrome Base Mini and the AOpen Chrome Box. Both powered by last gen's Rock Chip 3288, the devices are made for kiosk setups and aren't gonna blow anyone's mind with their performance. But they have heavy metal bodies and no frill specs and are both Chrome OS devices built with things like interactive displays and point of sale systems in mind. Though we don't have a proper Chrome OS tablet, this new Chrome base is basically a tablet with a stand and no battery. The Chrome box is pretty much what you'd expect. With covered power buttons, resistance to elements, and sturdy builds, both devices are made for public use. At 32 gigs of internal storage and four gigs of RAM, they aren't gonna really amaze anyone with their spec sheet. They're not that fast, but they are purpose-built devices. They're made for one thing, one thing at a time, and they do just fine with those things. Let's talk about the setup process. Apart from a couple purpose-built devices, Google's really worked on the process that it takes to get these things set up. Well, let's remember, Kiosks and small point of sale systems are devices likely to be deployed in small businesses like coffee shops or gift shops. Those small businesses may or may not have use for the full G Suite setup and using these devices was really not possible without that before. Fast forward to today, however, and Google has made a simple way for new users to have a management console set up in just minutes without the need of Gmail accounts, domains, etc. This setup process is referred to as the Purpose-Built Device Management Trial by Google, and it gets users set up and working with two licenses for two managed devices for 30 days, and it's all free. Google provides a full walkthrough as well, and the process gets you into a custom Google subdomain during the trial. If you choose to keep it, you simply become a paid customer and continue using your devices as you've configured them. If you decide you don't like it, the account and all the settings and files are terminated after an additional 30-day grace period. It's really that simple. No domains to set up, no G Suite, no enterprise accounts. We stepped through the process ourselves in about 15 minutes and we're up and running with Square Register on an AOpen Chrome base mini in no time at all. So you may be asking yourself, why go to all this trouble just to set up a couple point of sale systems or interactive maps? And the answer would be remote access to those units and control over them from a remote location. So you may have just a few devices that you have to manage, but being able to do that and manage those from one console, that's kind of the key here. And you can reboot these devices and you can add or remove apps and and move things around and power them down and remove users and do all sorts of things from one centralized location. And that's kind of the reason Google is trying to make this simpler for users because in the end, even for a small business, this is a really effective way to manage your devices. Now, we're not including all the step-by-steps in setting this up because perhaps even by the time this video comes out, some small things may have changed and in fact will change likely within the next few months. So by the time you're watching this, things may be a little different. So we've linked in the description below 
how to get started with this. And Google's done a really, really good job of laying out all the steps and making sure that it's easy for end users to get all of this stuff set up. So we would advise you to consult Google on this and not this video because we don't really want to get into trying to figure out how to keep up with all the changes that Google may make. Just know that Google's made it simple and their changes are likely only going to make things simpler. And if you want to try this out today, right now, you don't have to have one of these devices we talked about in the video. You can use a Chromebook or two that you have sitting around. Take, you know, go follow the link, go through the steps that we talked about, and you can actually set up and see if this would be a working solution for your small business. Guys, we hope this helps you a little bit or hope it helps someone you may know that could use this service down the road. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel guys. Until next time, we'll see you.